The third race enters the stretch. 2001 championship final of the Breeders' Crown. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot and they're off and trotting, and Andover Hall has made a break. Andover Hall was off stride, leaving Victory Cruise was on a break, and it's thrown wide open in the reopening strides. Andover Hall is refusing to land, back down trotting. There goes Momonet Hanover to a short lead. White Sand Titan, Wildwood Express is charging hard at the outside. Chips Nino drops in from fourth. Malabar Maple is fifth away. Magnetic Power is sixth on the outside. Moved away in seventh was Duke of York. OU Man is eighth. Andover Hall is ninth and still off stride. Distanced from the outside was Victory Cruise, and on a break around the first turn, taken to the outside was Magnetic Power. The lead belongs to Momonet Hanover in 27 and 3. Momonet Hanover on top by two, into the backstretch. White Sand Titan is trotting well into the pocket. Racing along in third, into the backstretch by another length and a quarter is Chips Nino. Wildwood Express finally got in from fourth. Duke of York is fresh and closing up in fifth. OU Man inherited sixth position. Malabar Maple is seventh. Magnetic Power is gapped out in eighth. And out of it early were Victory Cruise, and overhaul is still off stride. 58 and 1 was the half. 30 and 3 the second quarter. Moment A. Hanover waiting for a challenger and driving out from third comes Jim Doherty with Chips Nino into the last three eighths. White Sand Titan is in the pocket. Tony Kerwood puts Wildwood Express up second over fourth. And on the outside fifth, maybe looking back in, is Duke of York. OU Man is the sixth one on the final turn. Malabar Maple is seventh. And out of contention early were Magnetic Power and overhaul and Victory Cruz. They're bunching up and heading four wide out of the final turn. Out of the backfield comes Duke of York. A menacing presence on the far outside. McDonnell has this one fired up. Duke of York is flying up on the outside to join Momone Hanover off three quarters in 128. Duke of York right up alongside Momone Hanover. Duke of York, Momone Hanover out for the deep stretch drive is White Sand Titan. It's down to Duke of York and White Sand Titan. Duke of York scores a mighty victory for the head home team and he won it by a head in the Breeders' Crown over White Sand Titan and Momone Hanover. Duke of York has captured the crown in 157-3. The unofficial winner is back to Woodbine's infield winner's circle. It's number six, Duke of York. Balanced image, two-year-old Bay Colt from Umbro Monarch. Bred by Norman Isabel Vartanian of Hamilton and Al Libfeld of Pickering. Al Libfeld co-owns with Marvin Katz and Sam Goldband of Toronto. Trained by John Bax and driven to victory for his sixth Breeders' Crown title by Paul McDonnell. And that's the fourth win in 11 starts this year, a life's mark of 157-3 for Duke of York. And what a year for trainer John Bax. It was earlier this year that the charismatic Canadian champion Good Times became the richest Canadian trotter ever earlier this year. And he's won the Breeders' Crown, it appears, with Duke of York. Overly long ago that Paul McDonnell was winning in what is still the longest priced winner in a Breeders' Crown event, Bay's fella. Paul, you've pulled off another upset tonight. Uh, how does it feel? Oh, it feels good. It just feels better every time it happens. You had to feel uh, very good and, and seize the opportunity when you saw that Andover Hall was having those problems. Did that change your driving strategy in any way? Well, it, it does when the top horses uh, seem to be out of it early in the race. Another horse, Malabar, missed, I thought was uh, going to be a contender. He. Uh, he fell away early in the race, so uh, we had to re-establish uh, our game plan after that. And you were being pressured throughout the home stretch. How much did you want to urge your horse, knowing that he's uh, relatively young and still wanting to get the most out of him as you possibly could? 
Well, he's just, like you say, a green trotter, and uh, you don't want to be too hard on them, but yet you're, you're still going for pretty good money, so uh, you kind of got to get what you can out of them. But uh, he responded every time I asked him, and uh, uh, he won by just enough. Got to ask you as well, before I let you go, about the job that trainer John Bax has done with this horse. Oh, John, with every horse he's got, he's just, uh, he's a hands-on guy. Like right now, he's taking the horse back over to the, to the barn himself, and... Uh, yeah, you just can't ask for a, a more quality trainer than John Bax. Well, Paul, I want to say congratulations to you and uh, enjoyed having you here with us tonight. In the winner's enclosure, they're saying, don't diss the Duke. Duke of York victorious tonight in the Breeders' Crown. The objection by the driver of five against the driver of two has been upheld by the judges. The objection has been upheld by the judges, five on two.